Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading for June 10th to June uh, 16, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump straight away into the spread. All right, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Sagittarius this week, this is going to be uh, the judgment, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that Sagittarius needs to overcome, overcome from to, for, throughout the week, that will be uh, the moon card, followed by the third one which stands for the positive aspect of the week for Sagittarius we do have the temperance and the last one that it is about the guidance that Tarot is offering to Sagittarius is for throughout the week this is going to be the seven of wands all right so once again um judgment card is the first one followed by the challenges which are the moon card afterward it, afterwards is the positive aspect here that will be the temperance and then the last one is to be the Wands card, the Seven of Wands, which stands for the Guidance. Uh, okay, guys, so we do have three outs of a um, four major arcanas here. So that should be a rather quite significant week. Uh, now, I'm very, how can I place it, very apprehensive. How should I approach this reading? Because it could relate to many things with those uh, three major arcanas. So uh, the two major aspects of the reading or rather like how this reading could manifest is one is uh, could be a uh, reunion that uh, one could establish for throughout the week, like a reunion with, with an ex of yours or like reunion with a business partnership or it, it could be simple, simple reunion like, you know, you are to catch up with a friend that you didn't have chance to do so for a quite long time or uh, as the as the judgment sits on the um, on the topic of the week here, it could be a rather a huge resolution, uh, a resolution in the sense of that you may not know what to make up with your life uh, up until this moment, June uh, 10th to June 16th, and at that time frame, you know something is gonna hit you in a sense of like insight, in a sense of like for example an inspiration. Uh, in other words, you may find the right way for yourself to move on forward, either with your career or either with your marriage, or it could manifest as well in those two things you know cum uh, cumulatively happening to you at the same time. So the judgment itself, it's um, about as a topic, it's about a progress. Progress in the sense of that you need to think of the judgment is it's like, you know, you are a uh, wobbling or rather like, um, yeah, juggling in between two options available and suddenly, you know, and another one, another option shows up like, you know, the middle, the middle road. Or I would say it that way. Uh, let's say that you are standing in front of a mountain and you are 
trying to figure out I, either you're gonna bypass the mountain from the from its right side or from its left side and suddenly you know a, a path that goes just through the mountain that is just to save but much more quicker than the other two paths is kind of like revealed to you so the judgment is like you know finding the best possible option available uh, if you um, if you take the card as a uh, as a something that takes place into the grand scheme of things the accompanied card here that is to be the Empress and the Empress uh, falls as a uh, uh, active excuse me so active neutral to uh, to the judgment and uh, it seems that that thing is gonna make you a little bit uh, uncomfortable I mean this new resolution or this um, this reunion is gonna make you a little bit un uh, a little bit uncomfortable uh, for the reason being is that you're going to be quite happy having it, either a uh, option available for you to move on forward or a uh, option for or a chance to make a reunion. But there are going to be as well things on its path and mainly that thing is going to be the uncertainty of how this whole endeavor is going to uh, turn out for you. For example, you may have the chance to reunite, let's say, with an ex or to reunite with a business partner. And it's just, you know, you are to be a bit apprehensive to do so because you may not know how this thing is going to turn out. Is this thing really serious or is this is this real in, the, um, in general? So the next card uh, that it is the challenge, this is going to be the moon card and the moon card as a challenge, it is where you need to cope with the insecurity and uncertainty as well of the situation. Um, the best way how I can describe this card for you guys is that you need to um, strive, if I may express myself that way, to put on a clearance upon the situation as fast as you can. Uh, for example, if this is about an ex coming around, you got to confront them about their feelings and as well show, uh, to tell your feelings as well. So you both know how you stand and what is the potential in front of you both. Or if it is a business partnership, th same, things, same thing needs to take place as well. But in the grand scheme of things, the moon card here points that the, the real challenge is going to be for you to see uh, the benefits of the situation. And also to uh, to realize that, that is something you need to live through. So uh, what the card here really uh, here really is selling to you, uh, Sagittarius, is, is that even though it seems um, very uncertain what is to happen, uh, the tarot itself is uh, it is urging you to try it out because, like I said, with the moon card, it is something that you are supposed to go through. So let's say that is about reconciliation here, and you deny the per the reconciliation of that person. Well, then uh, probably somewhere along the future, uh, in the future, you know, after a couple of months, six months, year, two years. Uh, you will have the same situation, like, you know, a possibility to reconcile once again. That is not something that you can es escape from, at least not according to these cards. So it is better to take on the opportunity and make a peace with it at that point, um, instead of, you know, trying to postpone it indefinitely into the future, because it's going to bounce back uh, to you. Uh, we do have the Two of Cups as a accompanying card and we have here a, a passive uh, supporters. So we are definitely talking about partnership and uh, the way I see these cards now is like trying to overcome the past poignant experiences that you do have in between one another, you know, or uh, I will try to explain it like that. So let's say this is about an ex coming around, right? And that relationship ended uh, back in the days. So uh, when that ex comes around, this um, this image of the relationship ending is going to be evoked by you. And so you would ask yourself, well, what is going to prevent that relationship ending this time around, right? And that is something that you need to overcome. Uh, as a, a challenge and that could happen only if you try to make as big uh, as much contact as possible in the sense of the you know open conversations 
uh, deliberations about the future, uh, sharing emotions as well, that is very, very important. I mean, you should not be shy to say what you feel and how you feel it. I mean, you don't have, you, you don't need to feel love as well. I mean, that could be a, a person approaching you, they, 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 they tell you that they love you, but you are already married, you don't have feelings anymore for them and you have to settle the things out, all right? You need to tell them, well, you know, I don't have that feel these feelings anymore. So they can go in peace and you can go along with your uh, path in peace as well in case these paths are not crossing or rather like they are crossing but they are not moving together forward into the future so the next card it is the positive aspect of the week and that will be the temperance so the temperance here tells us that you are to approach the situation with rather very milder fashion and very calm fashion as a matter of fact a uh, lack of judgment also is going to be a thing that you're going to have at your behalf, meaning uh, also, which also tells us that the whole thing is going to be rather deprived from uh, from stress. So you're not going to feel uh, oppressed by the situation that you need to make that big decision straight away. Uh, the thing with the judgment here, uh, with the temperance, excuse me, here, it is that also there won't be any major repercussions on your decisions should you move along with this uh, reconciliation either business one or either relationship one as well or a friendship one or you should restrain yourself of doing it so the thing is that either way uh, according to the judgment is going to be a good decision in your behalf it is just you know you need to take on this uh, standpoint uh, where you don't burn every bridge that you do have with the opposite side of the situation for example um this is a person right and I, if we're talking about reconciliation relationship reconciliation uh you decide to get involved into it once again that doesn't mean that you have to burn all of your bridges with your current friends with your career as well and so on and so forth i mean you gotta accept that thing just as an addition to your life rather than as a brand new beginning of yourself or of your life the accompanied card here that is to be the five of cups and um the formation here it is actually um active a uh, enemies and as an active enemy of uh, the five of cups to the temperance card well basically these cards are pointing that you will have you will find excuse me the strength to forgive so whatever that person did to you or whatever that whatever they haven't done because this is equally bad i mean if they haven't done anything you know to sustain and to um secure your relationship that is equally bad if they did something to break it all right so you will you will have the strength to forgive that and to uh, maintain or rather like to obtain a clamorous belief that this time around things are to be different that is due to the fact that the temperance spread wisdom all right it's it kind of like gives that mature standpoint of each side of you so if I have to give you an example of a, let's say that you do have that boyfriend or a girlfriend, it doesn't really matter, into your teenage years. And back then, you know, the hormones were shooting out and uh, you were going uh, through a standpoint of complete calmness to a sudden outburst and so on and so forth. So you are quite immature. They were quite immature as well. And 20 years later, you know, you bump up once again and uh, simply things are different this time around. I mean, you are more mature and now this time around you can find rather a common ground in between uh, both of your feet to step on it and to start building up something together. So the last card here, it is the uh, guidance that, we, that the tarot has for you, um, Sagittarius, and this is going to be the Seven of Wands. And as a guidance, the Seven of Wands points that you should not rush it whatsoever. And uh, if you do decide, you know, to invite this person back into your life once again, uh, that should not be uh, as a result of a sacrifice, like you sacrifice one thing over another. 
So uh, for those who are into, uh, for those that are having families, right, or they are into relationships, most likely this re reconciliation will regard either into, uh, will uh, take place either into your career or into your friendship circle. For those who are single, it is very possible that this reconciliation is going to be about an ex. But yeah, the, the seven of ones here points that you should not kind of like uh, make the reconciliation uh, for an, an expense of something else or to sacrifice something else like reconciling with uh, with a uh, ex of yours and uh, destroying your current relationship or destroying your current marriage uh, the seven of wands also tells you that you should take your time thinking of how uh, or deliberating of how this reconciliation should take place because there is going to be a right moment. There are going to be a right actions for you to exert as well. And you should not rush it whatsoever because premature actions um, are leading to a, how can I describe it, more like a irrational decisions or premature actions are leading toward an unpredictable um, outcomes. So um, the next card that we do have, or rather like the one that accompanies the seven of wands, that is to be the tree of pentacles, formation, active neutrals. And with the tree of uh, pentacles, uh, now it's unlikely that you're gonna face a lot of understanding from your current friends. Well, they're gonna be in peace with it. I mean, they're gonna be resigned about your decision, but uh, you should not expect that everybody is gonna be exhilarated by your decision. Whatever decision you take, either you move along with it, uh, with this reconciliation or you don't. So uh, with these couple of cards, you need to know that you cannot satisfy everybody with your decision. So it's, it's best to satisfy yourself first and foremost. So when that event happens, this person comes around once again into your life, you know, and they start interacting with you, uh, you know, give yourself a little bit of a time to think about how you want to approach the situation. Does it worth it really? Because with these cards, it seems that your decision is going to be final. I mean, if you tell them that you don't want to have anything to do with them, probably uh, they are going to be gone, you know. If you tell them that you, don't, that you do want to have something to do with them, then they are going to be rather like glued to you. The only postpone that you can do here is not to tell them anything, so they are going to continuously come back into your life and the situation is going to repeat itself um, quite often from now on. So yeah, it is time for you to make up your mind. And as looking at these three majors here, guys, it's quite a, a substantial event for you. So you this time around, uh, up, adopting a, a neutral standpoint is not really an, an option available. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading June 10th to June 16th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.